Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. How to display data on single tablets from two data sets in SSRS report by joining on multiple columns? So think about a scenario when you have two data sets and each one is pointing to the different data source. So consider data set one is pointing to the Oracle and data set two is pointing to the SQL. Now we have a sale person first name in the data set one and we have a F name and L name in data set two. So these columns do have matching records and we need to bring the region from the second data set and play on the same tablex or table. So let's go ahead and insert a table. And now if I will bring a sale person first name, last name, that will come just fine. And uh, now if I will try to bring uh, the region from the second data set, it is going to throw me error because the scope of this uh, table is set to data set 1 as we have used the fields uh, from data set 1. So if I will bring it here, only fields from the current data set, uh, that's data set 1, can be added. So we got this error. But we want to display the matching records uh, for, uh, for region. Uh, when uh, sale person first name in the data set one and uh, sale person uh, first name and last name in the second data set matches with these two columns. Uh, so we need to write some expressions. Uh, we can use the lookup function here and uh, right click here, go to expressions uh, and uh, we can uh, write lookup. Now the problem is uh, we have multiple columns. Uh, so let's say we in data set one we have sale person first name and last name so we need to join on both of them so i'm going to use one plus sign so if this is concatenation with the second column now we are good put the comma here and now we have to provide the columns or even if it is let's say if we would have full name in the second data set we could have simply used that one but here we have the same scenario we have first name and last name so i'm gonna use this one let's copy this part and just change the field name itself so here paste it and we will use f name here so that's it then plus with the last name so copy this part change to the L name this is coming from second data set and the last part would be we need to provide uh, which column we would like to get and in this case uh, it is a region so I'm gonna just uh, paste it here and change the column name region and this is pretty much it and we provide comma and the last thing uh, we have to provide from which data set uh, there is a uh, this column is coming from so we know that region is coming from our second data set so we have provided that one let's fix this part so it is saying field first name plus fields l name dot value so this should not be issue here it's still showing red let's give a try and see what happened so now if we go ahead and preview the report we should get some records and that was just uh, that uh, that was maybe warning or something but uh, that came just right and we see that uh, from data set one we have all these records uh, here and uh, we have only matching records uh, Najaf Ali, Sukhjit Singh and for those uh, we got the region value from our data set two this is one way we can use the lookup but you see that we did concatenate uh, here two columns uh, we did concatenate first name and second name from data set one and then we can concatenate the first name and last name in data set uh, two and then we provide the field is required so this is one way to do it but if you want to go one step ahead and prove you have more knowledge in the interview it's a good idea why not so we have first name and last name and you can tell them you can create a derived or calculated field so let's add a calculated field here in data set one i'm going to call this one full name and here we can use the expressions and we can concatenate the fields here first name and plus the second last name hit ok so we have now full name this is calculated field the same thing can be done in data set 2 so this is a kind of a clean way to do the things and we have full name 
and here I can write the expressions as well and uh, this is coming from data set 2 so we have let me see first name and uh, I can remove this part I don't need this one plus uh, I need the last name so I'm gonna copy this part and just paste it here so we are cre creating uh, sorry actually we could have just click here and bring that <laughs> I'm sorry I was when you use multiple data sets sometimes it's confusing so double click plus uh, last name so we created the full name in both of the data sets um, so we can use this uh, calculated field in the expressions uh, now we know that we know uh, look up very well and uh, we know it need uh, the source column so here it need uh, the source column should be coming from the first data set uh, this one and uh, we can remove this part and here we should be having the so uh, destination column or joining column from the second data set so first uh, we have a let's say if we have data set one here and we have full name so this is coming from there and the same thing coming from uh, second data set we can provide that and uh, this is the third field that we need to display and uh, this is coming from data set 2 so we created a calculated field uh, full name in both uh, the data sets uh, and then we are using the lookup function this is more clean way to do it and uh, more cleaner way to do it and uh, you can provide the region name here for column and that's pretty much it now you can preview and the report should return the same results now one question on top of that if you would like to tell more details I will say if even your column will have null values let's say uh, Amir Shehzad so if uh, let's say Amir has the value in both data sets and Shehzad is null in both of them still it will, it will match so if you have null values in the uh, database and uh, uh, SSRS uh, convert them to kind of blank and that does match uh, it's not like uh, null is not equal to null in SQL so if you will have null values uh, from in your source and uh, you will uh, join here you they will match and you will see the display value here in the region if there is any value so thanks very much uh, for watching this video and I will see you guys uh, in next video